way. Boom. I'm gonna start the recording. All right. So like I said, we're doing some Minecraft. And we're gonna do this hardcore world. The, the seed for the world is, uh, it's Plague, P-L-A-G-U-E. And actually, I'm quite pleased with what it looks like. Let's jump on in. Basically, all I did was I spawned in on the world and looked around. And if I would have known this was the word, this was the seed that would have gotten me one of these goddamn ice biomes, I would have done it a long time ago. But goddamn. Anyway, so we got a desert over here. And we got an ice biome here. Sadly, we have no trees. So <laughs> we're going to have to find some of those first. Oof. All right. So I'm going to try and find some trees here. I'm not going to hit a cactus real quick and grab some of that. There we go. All right. There's some trees. Woo! People are yelling outside my apartment, and they need to, like, stop because they're annoying. Okay, that's an interesting landscape. All right. Let's first of all get out of the desert and get to where we can get trees to start collecting items and stuff. This is the latest version of Minecraft as well. I don't remember what all is in this version. I think the nether biome updates, like the only, uh, another ice biome over there. God damn, I'm in heaven here. I think the nether biome is the, the newest thing here. Uh, I really cannot wait until the cave update because it looks amazing. And it's going to be just beautiful. But we'll see how that goes. Because I hear it's coming out in like next year. So it's going to be like months. Unfortunately. But I'm real excited for it. Because in the next update, they're going to have... Uh, there's like this wireless redstone stuff. It's not redstone specifically... But it's like this wireless stuff that is just, oof, really nice. I cannot wait for it. Also, my, my mouse is like a little bit too... Is where, where is like the mouse sensitivity? Is that a thing in Minecraft? I forget. Uh, no? Mouse settings, there we go. Let's, let's decrease that to like 80. There we go. All right, is that better? A little smoother, yeah. Definitely like that more. Okay. Perfect, perfect. I'm gonna grab some seeds so we can make a farm at some point here. Alright. First things first. Oops. Uh, e. Go. Let's get some wood going here. Got a crafting table. Let's get a little closer. I keep pressing shift to run, and I do not know why. <laughs> Minecraft has never had a run feature. Let's get over closer to this wall here. And we're going to just real quick... Oops, I need planks first. It's been a minute. Okay. Just going to real quick make a pickaxe first so I can get some stone. Then we're going to make stone stuff right off the bat here. Okay. Stone Age achievement unlocked. Hell yeah. See, I don't know how much we're going to play of this. But, uh, we'll see how it goes. Definitely this stream, probably next stream, because there's no other games that I really want to play right now. But we'll do this for a while and just kind of see how things go. So, yeah. Let's go this way. I'm just going to stock up on stone until my uh, pickaxe breaks. Then we'll make a stone pickaxe and go from there. Also, we can use this little uh, cave that we're digging out as sort of a temporary base until we find a good place for one, which will be nice. Okay. Almost there. So, let's see. Our first operation of business... Should be first to get our stone tools going. Then we'll need to find a decent place to have... Oop, that's the andesite. We need to find a place to set up actual base. Somewhere that has good access to, like, materials and wood and that kind of stuff. We could go to the snow biome and do it there. We might scope that out after we uh, 
get some gear going. There we go. Okay, that's all we needed. All right. Next. Boom. Stone tools. I'm going to toss that out. I don't want that. I said I don't want that, damn it. Okay. Uh, I don't know why I'm doing that. Let's get an axe. Let's get a shovel. And then let's get a sword. All right. Done ski doodles. Now I'll pick up the crafting bench. I'm going to toss that down. All right, let's get some wood. We'll stock up on some of that before we head out to a different location. We'll want to find some place to settle down before night. Also, we need to find animals. At least sheep so we can get a bed going. Otherwise, it's going to be a rough time. go and done all right what was the first tree i cut down over here right let's see if it's dropped any saplings ow it has hey come on hit the leaves there we go all right two saplings not great but it'll do for now all right I keep pressing M thinking that there's a mini-map, and I'm like, oh, I'm going to hit M and just going to, you know, find a, uh, a mini-map real quick to see what the surrounding biomes look like, but <laughs> there's not. I'm so used to playing modded, mo modded, modded Minecraft that it's just gotten a little uh, crazy. All right. That's simple. Hell yeah. Let's walk around this place. Ooh, salmon. We can get some coal while we're here, too. That'll help. We can make some torches and stuff. Okay. You know, it's a real shame that mods do not work on uh, the updated version of Minecraft. At least most of them don't. The seed panda is plague. P-L-A-G-U-E. That's, the, that's the, <laughs> the seed that I put in. I tried another one before that was uh, Pestilence. Going with the theme of plague, you know. Um, and Pestilence was not a good seed. It was, uh, I was on an island in the middle of an ocean with, like, one tree and nothing else on it. And, uh, I was like, nah, I'm good. Then I saw this one, second try, and found a, uh, an ice biome, one of the, like, ice spiky biome things that I really like. So we're probably gonna build a, uh, a base over there. I just want to stock up on, uh, coal and stuff before we go over that way. And end up not being able to get resources. I'll just mine this copper uh, coal. I don't know why I said copper. Also, copper I think is a new ore they're adding in uh, the cave update as well, which is going to be pretty great. Honestly, if they just add more like stuff, like random stuff to Minecraft, I'll be uh, I'll be happy. It's really all there is to it. Like, if they could add more stuff, that would make like adding mods easier. It'd be nice. Like copper, for example. So you don't have like 80 mods that all have different uh, copper IDs and stuff on them. They can just use a default Minecraft one. Hey, chicken, I'm gonna need your meat. Okay. Oops. I don't know how I missed. Oh my God. Stop going through grass. Okay. You can make some arrows with that too, which is good. I'm trying not to run too much so far. Because I don't want to waste my uh, hunger. Come on, seeds. Let's go. Oh, looks like we got a swamp over here. Interesting. So we got like a... Uh, what, what is what is this biome we're in right now? Uh, they moved the biome. Uh, 
God, I'm blind. Oh my God. Uh, biome is a shattered savanna plateau. Never heard of that biome. Okay. And I got the swamp one down here. Ooh, sugar cane. That'll come in handy. We can start a nice little farm. Hell yeah. We can also get some uh, some nice oak, oak wood here. Let's just collect some resources before we uh, head off into the ice biomes. Perfect. All right. Ooh, is that a village over there? something, some sort of structure. Looks like a farm, possibly. I see some pigs over there. We can go kill them, get some meat. Uh, this is unfortunate. It's getting dark out. Okay. Let's kill these pigs, and we're gonna head up to that, uh, the light source, and just kind of see what it is. And hopefully not get dead. Oops. Damn it, pig, come here. Ooh, cows too. Okay, perfect. Getting some leather. Also, hold on. Uh, just so it's easier for you guys, video settings, uh, render distance increased, frame rate unlimited, brightness maxed. There we go. Okay. That way it's a little bit brighter out here for you guys to see. Found the sheep. Okay, we just need to get some wool now. We can make a bed. After I kill this damn cow. Here we go. One wool. Two wool. And I think in the new updates you have to use the same colored wool for a bed, unfortunately. There we go. Got it all. Okay. Seems to be more savanna over that way. Oh. Is that? Is that, a, is that a dungeon right there? Spider dungeon. Okay. Oof. Okay. 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 Ow. Ow. Okay. We need to leave. We need to get armor first. I'm not gonna die. <laughs> nah, fuck that. Ah, oh, shit. Well, I might die. <laughs> oh no! It looks like a village. Okay, I can uh, I can get inside a village area and just kind of hide there. Actually, do, do zombies break? Doors in the hardest mode? I, I don't remember. Okay, we got some bread. There we go. We got some bread. We're all right. <laughs> Hell yeah. All right. Uh, what is this? A cartographer table? Okay. Well, uh, let's drop our crafting table. Make a bed real quick. Boop. And boop. Eh, here we go. White bed. Easy. And we'll just sit right there and take a nap. Alright, let's get rid of day or night, I guess. And then we can explore this village and uh, see how that goes. Okay. So we got a little farm here. Looks like this is seeds. I think these are potatoes over here, or is these carrots? Those are just normal seeds, okay. Are they all just normal seeds? This is melon, right? Yeah. Okay. Is that pump? Nope. Just gonna loot their farm real quick. <clears throat> Don't mind me. And that's a creeper. That's gonna kill me if it goes off. So let's go away from that. Okay, here we go. We got a saddle, we got some more bread, so I can actually do this. Hopefully not have the creeper explode on me when I go outside. Got that. Okay, we got a little bit of protection. Some cauldrons here. It's a stone block. Alright. Are those... Is, it, what, what, is that a... That's the villager. I thought it was a horse. Okay. Ready, set, go! Oops, that was a bad start. Creeper's still over there. All right, perfect. Well, <clears throat> we can grab all this in the meantime. Is it shovels? 
Is it shears that do these faster now? I forget the new update did. Anyway, let's just get all this so we can make it into bread later. Actually, can you combine, like, these and make bread faster by, like, putting them in a line? I don't think so, but that would be neat. Okay. We got some last flowers down here. Okay, so more of the villages upward and over this way. So I'm going to take this torch. They changed the look of feathers and it's just throwing me off. Uh, this way. Hello, villagers. Do you guys not sell stuff? I guess you are a different kind of villagers, maybe? Donkey. Golem. Okay. I think bells attract the villagers, right? Uh, did I crash? Nope. Okay. We're good. We're Gucci. Hmm. The bells attracted them. Oh, well. Let's just uh, loot all their houses. Oh, you take rotten flesh for emeralds. That's actually pretty decent if I want to make a, uh, a rotten flesh farm. Oh, so the ones with capes are, they have jobs. Okay, I gotcha. I'm gonna grab that rotten flesh then. Kind of stock up on that shit, yeah. Just a bed. Ooh, that will come in handy. Oh, baby. A brewing stand? Don't even have to kill a blaze for that shit. Hell yeah. I just need, like, another wart to actually use it, though. So, that'll be a thing I'll have to grab. Oh, yeah, up there's where I wanted to go. What an interesting kind of place, huh? Okay. Well, let's grab more of this. Ooh, a turtle. Hello, turtle. Let's take a peek in here. I think this is just a bed. Yep, just a bed there. Oh, this is perfect. I'm gonna take this melon real quick, sir. Thank you. That's just wheat. Got a compost barrel here. You're a farmer. You take potatoes and carrots. Okay. And then here we got a cartographer table. I'm not actually sure what the cartographer tables do. I'm gonna take it though. That's mine now. Do you sell anything? Nope. I forgot you didn't have a cape. Okay. I think that's all the village things. Yep, okay. Then, let us go explore this. It looks like a little farm up here. That could be useful. Maybe it has more carrots and stuff or something. I don't know. Looks like a cow's up here, though. Oh, okay. Wheat farm down there. Nice, nice. Oh, more village. That's cool. Oh, they actually have a little farm up here? Oh, that's that's cool. I don't think I'm going to kill those cows then. But do they have carrots or anything else other than wheat? Not that I don't like wheat, but I could use it to lure other stuff around, you know. Let's just make a, uh, a path across here for these guys. Okay. Anything in this house? Da -da -da -da. Nope, just a ruin stand, which I will also take. Because they stack, right? Uh, B, B, E. Oh, yeah, they stack. Okay. Okay. Come here, pig. I need your meat. Thank you. All right. Oh, crap. Oh, that was not good. That could have been real bad if I still had three health. I need to get back into the, uh, the parkour. So I don't completely die like that. Okay. I'm just going to toss this rotten flesh for now. No sense keeping it when I have limited inventory and no place to put everything. Alright. So we got more desert over here. Looks like some sort of plane over that way. Uh, more ice over that way. That's packed ice, it looks like. That's nice. Let me grab that. There's the ice biome that I wanted. Let's real quick jump over to here. 
Okay, we got a swamp over there. Desert over here. Ice biome over there. Ice biome over here. Let's go this way real quick. I just want to see what... Ooh, this is a nice uh, little... That'll be good to mine later. Bunch of bunnies in the desert, which is good. Okay, okay. Picking up what you're putting down here. This is just a savanna. More sheep, okay. Little baby sheep. Alright, alright. Alright. There's some clay. Oof. Come here, salmon. Alright, I think. I was thinking they only had like one health for some reason. But now they got like a bunch. Okay. Well, let's find our home. Come here. Yeah. There we go. Just gonna stock up on some food real quick. I should get kemp. Or kelp. Kemp. I should get kelp if I want to get a good food supply, because that's really simple to, like, make and stuff. You just cook it, and you got, like, a bunch of food. And it's really easy to grow, too. Just find water, and there you go. All right. Let's take a look at this ice biome here. All right, so we got normal ice here, packed ice there. Is that ice the one that I can, like, mine and harvest? Nope, it is not. Okay. This white stuff's all just snow blocks, right? Can't, like, mine it? Nope. Can I shovel it, though? I can. Okay. Yeah! There we go. Alright, let's get up nice and, uh, nice and high here. We'll take a look. See what the surrounding areas look like. Get a good lay of the land. This is deadly if you fall in, my god. Okay. A lot of desert and savanna in this seed, huh? Over that way. I want to go over there. Oh, hello there. Hold on. Okay, hold up. Before I lose my breath here, I'm going to sort my inventory real quick, see what I need and don't need, and then we're going to go back in there. All right, let's see. I don't need this one thing of dirt. Ah, uh, I don't need this feather or this dandelion. Let's move some stuff around like that. Okay. Perfect. I'm also going to get rid of these four. Actually, let's make another crafting bench. Why not? Just have another one. Okay. Now then, let's go grab our uh, stuff down here. Because that was a fishing pole. Okay, anything else? Not that I can see. Usually there's a couple of chests in them, though. Actually, what I could do is I could just mine in from the top. Probably better. Okay. Ho-ho, I can get sea lanterns here, too. Or at least the sea lantern stuff. Let's uh, see what we get here. So I think right down there is where I got the chest, maybe? Oops, let's not do that. Let's toss that torch there quick. Oh, there goes my pickaxe. 
It's further down, right? Eh, can't move. Okay, hold on. Let me make a new uh, pickaxe real quick. Okay, and of course, I uh, still got a bunch of cobblestone. All right. Easy. All right. Let us go down this way. Clear out a little bit of the ice here, luckily. Oh, that's water. So there's one chest. This one we got. Okay. Let's break up the rest of this area. Maybe there's another chest hiding around here somewhere. Ah, a drowned. Okay. Let's take him out. Here we go. Okay. Something hiding in one of these corners. Does not look like it. Okay. Yep, just one chest then. Okay. That's that's fine. One chest is better than no chests, you know? Let me go ahead and just grab that. Okay. Uh oh. I need a block. Alright, let's get out of here. Night is coming. Yep. Can entities spawn on uh, these? I'm not sure. Can stuff spawn on ice? It doesn't look like it. At least I don't see anything that's spawned on ice right now. Is that a shipwreck over there? Hold up. What all do I have on me right now? I don't need gold nuggets. Get rid of them. All right. Let's make a boat. That much, right? No. Yeah. Okay. What else do I want to get rid of here? I gotta get rid of the cactus. I don't need that right now. Okay. Oh, hey, look, another uh, little temple thing. There's the chest. Let's get some air. Okay. Gotta watch out for drown here too, huh? Ooh, a buried treasure map. Okay, we're gonna want that. Let's uh let's retreat real quick and sleep before it gets too uh zombie infested out here. I need my bed. Maybe I'll drop the salmon. I might do that. It might not be a bad idea to drop that, since that's just an easy gettable thing here. Respawn point, uh, respawn point set. I don't need that. Okay, drop that. Yeah. Okay. Alright, let's grab the... Do I want this emerald? I'll replace the snowballs. I don't know why I was holding on to the snowballs either, but you know what? That's fine. Okay. Now then, I need to get the... There we go. Let's get the boat. And let's go. Okay. Keep an eye out for shipwrecks or other buried treasure type things that we can find. That will be very helpful. Okay. Got a polar bear there. Hello, Mr. Polar Bear. How are you doing? Let's just find a nice place to settle. Then we can start expanding a base. Or at least have a place to drop stuff off at. We're not going to do much in terms of base building right now. Can't go past that. Just a flotilla. All right, here we go. Let me turn on in here. Is that a shipwreck down there, though? It looks like it to me. That's really deep, though. I can't get down there without suffocating. Oof. I wish I could mark stuff. Oh, well. If it's close to my base, I'll find it again. No worries about that. 
This is not the exact ice biome that I was looking for. I was looking for more of a uh, ice spike one. But you know what? It's okay. Alright, there's a chest here. Let me take a look at that. I gotta knock this off first, though. What do we got? Emerald Rotten Flesh and a... Uh, I don't know why I have a run flesh there. Okay, there we go. Easy peasy. I am a squeezy. Any other chests, though, while we're looking? I'm not going to dig anything. I'm just going to... Nope, okay. There is a uh, shipwreck over here, though. That we can take a look at. Okay. I'm going to leave my boat here. And we shall take a look. Alright. Let's go in from the top. Hello there, chest. Ooh. That's very nice. Okay. Get rid of that. Oop. Bamboo. A suspicious stew. I don't know what that does. Is that good or bad? I'm not entirely sure. I'm gonna put these boots on though real quick. Okay. I'll just put this stuff here. I don't have enough room for it. I can come back. Actually, I will need to come back because there's definitely nothing else I can grab here right now. Okay, let's return to the boat. I need to stop looting stuff. I need to find a place to put up shop, you know? Man, I'm gonna have to go like, all the way around if I don't wanna. You know what? Here's what we can do. Gotta go two by two, okay. Just make a nice little channel for my boat to go through through the ice. Easy. Okay. Moving on. Here. Ooh, this is like a fucking maze, man. Here we go. Okay. This is not a great ice area quite yet. I haven't seen anything that really stands out to me as a potential base. That Maybe. We might use that. But let's continue looking for something more suitable as a base. Alright. Let me just break that and I'll go past here. Okay, it looks like the bay the ice biome is kinda pittering out now. It's giving way to that stuff. It wouldn't be a bad idea to be like near another biome and not just like in the middle of an ice biome where we have to like trek back and forth like a long, 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 long way. Okay, yeah, I'm not seeing anything else that's jumping out at me. Let's go back to this. We're gonna build an ice castle. Hell yeah. Well, not build one, but it's gonna... We're like gonna build our thing in a nice thing, and it's gonna be like a castle. You feel me? All right. So... All right. So let me explain what I'm feeling with this. All right. First of all, Hello, Mr. Uh, Polar Bear. So right here, we got a peak and a peak. Those are going to be the uh, the turrets of the castle. Meanwhile, all of this is going to be like the innermost area of the castle. Right here, we'll have our doorway. Let's go ahead and get going. And we'll mark it with a torch for now. So we got some normal grass growing down below here. Actually, is it hollow inside? Nope, nope, it's not actually a castle. <laughs> That's fine. We can build outward and uh, have this be like an inner keep where our farm is at. Oh, that's actually perfect, yeah. We can build like a little farm here and it goes off into this area. Oh man, this is perfect. This can be like our, uh, our farmstead. 
where we have a bunch of farm stuff at. Yeah, like we can have a pen for like cows and sheep and all that fun jazz. And then this is not as thick as I was thinking it was, but we can build like over there full of ice. It'll be great. Yeah, trust me. We just gotta get like a, uh, a silk touch pickaxe or something, you know? All right, so first of all, we should probably figure out how actually deep this goes. Never hurts to collect some dirt while you're at it. So this will be like the ground level. <laughs> okay. We'll make it all nice and tidy later. I just want to see how far back we can go before we hit something else. Hey, Agent. Welcome to the stream. How are you doing today? Actually, I think we're too far underground right now. Maybe not? Okay, here we go. Perfect. Yeah. And then we're right outside that area there. Okay. So we can go back a couple of more if we wanted to, but that's the wall. Okay. Okay. Emergency exit. There we go. Okay. So let's just start right in here. One, two, three. One, two, three. We're going to dig out a nice little hovel area for now. And we're going to expand it into a nice, lovely base later. I'm not going to try to do a whole lot of building and, you know, stuff like that for now. But, okay, our shovel's gone. Let's just collect all this dirt that we can. Okay. And then we can uh, kind of sit down and start planning out our, uh, our area. Okay. First of all, let's get some wood, make a couple of chests. Boop, boop. Then we need to get a... Furnace going, boop, boop, pop. Speaking of, let's go ahead and start cooking some of this food that we got. There we go. Store everything we don't need right now, such as the seeds and the kelp, the trees, the cartography table, which I don't even know what it really does. Make sure the buried treasure maps, the saddle, the brewing stands, the fishing pole, the emeralds, the paper. Uh, let's see. That'll work for now. Okay. And now, while we're waiting for that to cook, let's make a bunch more torches. Get some more. Why not? Boop. Okay. I'm going to store half the coal here, put half the coal in there. Let's wait for this to finish. Yeah, Agent, I, I do. Also sucks that you've been better and that you're doing great right now. I hope you feel 100% soon. But yeah, all my Fallout Equestria stories are on my uh, YouTube channel. YouTube.com slash uh, Plagan Shiki. So you can check them all out there. Alright. We got a little bit of food. I'm going to store the, the steak and stuff in here. Store those in there. Can I do that? Nope. Okay. I can just make them all normal wheat, though. Oh my god, so much wheat. Okay, we're gonna have bread for days, y'all. Boop. And boop. Perfect. Okay. I think we got our uh, food situation taken care of for right now. Don't have to worry much about that. We'll wait till this all cooks. Perfect. Actually, I might just take that away for right now. Okay. Throw that there, that there, throw the dirt there. Okay, let's grab the rest of this dirt. Because we will need it when we eventually expand later. Okay. Let's put that there. Let's get this bed down right here. Okay. See if that last chicken can cook before our fire goes out. Come on, come on, come on. 
You can do it. Yeah, boy. Okay. Excellent. We got all of our food cooked. Excellente. We're going to need to make a uh, couple new tools real quick before we forget about that. Okay. All right. First of all, let's make a couple of pickaxes because that one's about to break. We'll make a couple of shovels. And I don't really need another uh, axe yet because we're not going to go hard on any of that. We will keep that stuff for making more. But for now, let's just store that there. Okay. We're good for right now. Okay, perfect. So next, let's go finish looting that shipwreck over here. Let's see if there's any others we can find. And otherwise, we will start to find some like mine we can go into and get some loot. Also, and before I lose my uh, my house and cannot find it again, that would suck. Okay, I believe we went around here, back through here, and there's the ship. Okay, perfect. Okay. Oop. Yeah, there we go. Grab all that. Might as well take the chest just so I don't be like, oh, a shipwreck, and try to loot the chest again. Another chest should be over here. Ooh, a clock and a compass. Buried treasure and a book. So the, the compass, it, uh, it points to the spawn point of the world, right? Which is unfortunate. Which would point to your spawn point? That'd be nice. Anything down in the uh, the hold of the ship here? Nope, that's not the hold of the ship. Never mind. <laughs> all right. That should be all the chests, I believe. So get out of there. I'm gonna go ahead and take my boat. All right. So let's head into the desert. We can get some sand to make some glass, and also see if there's anything that we can. Uh, do over there that'll get us some nice uh ore. Maybe I should uh yeah there we go. Okay, <laughs> let's not swim that entire distance. Maybe we'll find a village over here too. That'd be lucky, right? Basically, the highest peak mountain in that area is our base. We just got to remember that. Okay. Maybe a desert temple or something, you know? Okay. Let's hop out of that. Take the boat. Let's uh, see if we can get up somewhere high and take a look around. Nothing off in the distance so far. see a bee over there though I think bees are peaceful okay let's keep wandering around here this might be high enough for us to see at least uh, in the desert area all right hey we got a temple hell yeah okay Anything else around this area? I don't see anything else quite yet. Ow. At least nothing that looks uh, interesting. Okay, so let's loot this bad boy. See if we get anything good from here, huh? Okay. All right, all right. So is it, yeah, right here, okay. I think other stuff can set off the pressure plate, not just me. So let's let's not uh, try to leave things up to chance like that. Okay. Next pickaxe, go. We'll just skirt around the outside edge like this.
Okay. Let's go ahead and just uh, dig up this TNT real quick. Perfect. And I need to... Uh, Let me just, I'm just gonna destroy the chests. I don't even care what's in them right now. I can jump over here. Give me all your loot. Ooh, diamonds, huh? All right, what all we get? Get rid of that stone pressure plate, that's for sure. Let's see, we got a couple of saddles. We got three diamonds. Ooh, we can make a diamond pick, or we can make a diamond sword, or make a diamond hoe even. Ooh. <laughs> Projectile protection. We can make a hoe and a shovel. Ooh la la. Not that I would. That's a waste. But, I don't know. I don't really... There's not really a use for a pickaxe, you know? I'm sure you can, like... Well, I guess there's the, the new netherite stuff, which is kind of useful. But, uh, at this point in the game, it's not really worth it, I don't think. To make a pickaxe right now. We'll hold on to the diamonds for now. If we really need them, we'll find them. Do something with them. But. Hello, oh, Mr. B. How are you doing? Okay. That was that. No, I should have wrote down my coordinates. Or at least taken a screenshot of them at the base. Because I'm definitely going to get lost. But, uh. That's how she goes. Okay, is that a taiga over there? Taiga, whatever you want to call it. I don't know. All right. Just mosey on over here. Is the music too low now? Because I haven't heard it for, like, ever. All right, this has just not been playing. Is that a... Is that a town? Oh, yeah. And we're pretty close to a town, too. Excellent. Maybe they have carrots and stuff that we can take. Man. I don't know what this suspicious stew does. I kind of want to eat it. But at the same time, if it's going to, like, poison me or just instantly kill me... Oof. I don't know. Alright, what are these? These are just normal seeds. Boo. Alright. Ooh, is this a, uh, a librarian? An infinity book? Bro. That's that's perfect. Okay. I like you. You guys don't have jobs. You don't have a job. This is a farmer. What do you got? Wheat and carrots. Okay, that's simple enough. I can use all this if I wanted to. I'm gonna... Oh, we got a buried treasure map too? Hell yeah. Alright, let's, let's see what they got for loot here quick. Nothing. What over here? What you got? What you got, huh? Ooh, a stone cutter. That's useful. Okay. What can we drop? Oh, the terracotta and stuff we don't really need. Okay. Let's, first of all, mine that. There we go. All right, stone cutter achieved. What about this? Ooh, books. We got a uh, lectern. I think that turns the villagers into, like, librarians and stuff. Also, I think taking that might have just screwed over one of the villagers who was a, uh, a stone cutter. I'm going to get rid of some of this stuff that I don't need. A whole lot of the spider eyes, because someone could want to trade for those. You never know. Let's turn some of this wheat into, into profit, shall we? Hey buddy, I got some wheat for you. Hell yeah. What a deal. We got a couple of emeralds from that. Not bad, not bad. Any other uh, houses with loot? Ooh, we got a, a cow farm here. We can use this to our advantage as well. Not too much of a trek from our, uh, our normal home. Cartographer or librarian, I guess. Okay, wooden emeralds. Okay, wooden, okay, okay. We got some more wheat here we can snag. Turn it into profit again. 
Knights coming, they're all scrambling into their homes. Okay. Boop. Alright, let's find the farmer. Farmer? Nope. Uh, I don't suppose you guys have an open bed. Do ya? Smile. There's no bed in here. Shit. Uh, excuse me, I need a bed. I do not want to live night in fear. You guys good? You good? You good? You, you, you good? You're just gonna watch that guy sleep? Oh, hey, farmer. How's it going, mate? Thank you. I suppose I could just destroy one of their beds and take it, but I'm not a dick like that. Another wheat. Okay. What do you got? Wait, the other one had infinity for 21. This one is infinity for seven. Are you kidding me? Bro. Bro. Dude, just, just wait. Why does it cost more? Okay, there we go. I'm just gonna take that. Thank you. I'm gonna, nope, I'm gonna sleep in your bed. Oh, there's monsters nearby already? Shit. No, don't run out. Whoa, why? Bruh. Okay. Gonna sleep now? I can. Come on, librarian, you can sleep on this bed too. It's all right. Okay. Well, that was uh, an unpleasant experience. That was an Enderman. Oh boy. Actually, I have a couple of wheat left. Why don't I feed the cows here? Just to uh, start making a little bit of a farm. You know what I'm saying? All right. All right. Okay. All right, let's see here. I'm gonna, real quick. I'm gonna make a quick notepad of this. All right. Do, 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 do. XYZ is 842. Okay, so it's 273, 66, 842, roughly. Okay. Noted. And let's not. Yeah. 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 Move. Okay. Perfect. All right, all right, all right. Now then. We're full on stuff right now, so we should return home. I think those are beets. I, I came from. This, this, this way, right? I, I think I did. Fuck. I hope I did. Yep, there's the, uh, the, the sand temple. Alright, let's head back home, drop off our stuff, and get ready for another excursion. Ooh, a beehive over there. Next time we can search this way. See if we can find anything good. Some lava there. That's perfect. Some good surface lava. Actually, what are these coordinates? I'll note them down. Let's see. 243, 65. That's 650. Yep, okay. Perfect. Duly noted. I can grab that and get some uh, obsidian going with water once I get some buckets and stuff. Nice and easy. All right. Thank God I have all this bread now. This will be perfect. Nice forest over there to get wood from. Excellent, excellent. Hello, little bee. Are those pumpkins over there? I think they are. Very nice, very nice. All right. Got some sheep here. Perfect. They're nice in close proximity to my, uh, my castle. My future castle, anyway. 
we can use it to uh, make a farm. Let's get one started. Boing, 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 boing. All right. Yeah. Also, we have a nice little area to make a kelp farm at, which is good. Okay. Excellent. Let's get the stone cutter. Boop. I think I actually take damage if you stand too. Do you take damage if you stand on top of it? I don't remember. Let's get that bread there. Let's get these shoes here. Do these stack? Nope. Lame. It's a shame they don't. Okay. Let's throw that and that. So we're going to store everything I do not need right now. I need this cobbles. Thank you. Uh, the clock could come in handy. The compass is not going to, but it can be used for later stuff, I think, right? Suspicious stew, which I will figure out what it does later. I'm keeping the clock because it'll tell me uh, how close I am to needing to go to bed. In fact, it might be a good idea to get uh, a bed to just carry with me. Maybe I'll just, yeah, I don't, I don't need a bed here. Uh, it's not like I can respawn, so I might as well just take it and sleep away uh, as we go by things. Right, hold up. Right. Two fifty. Home. Home is two thirty two sixty three two fifty. Perfect. Noted down. Oops. Noted down. All right. So we've explored that way, kind of. Let's explore this way. See if there's anything fun over here. Maybe we'll find another uh, a shipwreck or something in the the kelp, or another uh, little loot thing, or no. Hmm, okay. Fine. Got another village. Maybe a desert temple or something interesting like that? Huh? Huh? Maybe, maybe. We'll find out. Alright, alright. Oop. Ba -ba -ba. There we go. So we got a uh, savanna here. Damn it, cow, stop running away. I said stop. I said stop. Cow, cow, please. Thank you. I want your leather. So if I can't find iron, I might as well make some leather armor, right? At least for right now. I'll need it for books too later, but I keep forgetting the button to open up my inventory. Damn it! Ah, it's E. Okay, that's three leather. Not much. Actually, maybe I don't kill these ones. Maybe I let them live, and then I can start a cow farm closer to home later. Yeah, that'll be a, that'll be a plan there. Oh, hello there. We got a little cave opening we can go into in a moment. Before we do that, though, I want to check out... Oh, y'all see that on the right side there? Right over there? That appears to be a pillager tower. Which means we're not going that way anymore. Well, it appears to be a uh, something over here we can look at at least. Some sort of... Hovel of some sort, perhaps? Mm -hmm. Wait, is there no entrance to this? Uh. Nani? Is this a dungeon? Is this legit a dungeon? Hold on. I'm gonna put these away real quick. Also, I'm gonna get a fucking exit in case they need to dip real quick, like here. 
Okay. Or is this a weird temple? Is this a temple? Wow, this temple is underground. Okay. That's interesting. Wasn't expecting that, but okay. Let's loot it. Like, I just saw one turret of the, uh, the temple and then nothing else. Interesting. Okay. And, like, before, I'm just gonna... Ooh, that could have been bad. I, I almost forgot to take out all the uh, TNT first. Okay. Let's do that real quick. Do that. Okay. We got some chest armor, at least. Maybe? Or is that just me telling me I got gold? I just got gold. Okay. We also got a little bit of that. Perfect, perfect. Let's get rid of the spider eye. Um, before we go back up, let's get rid of this, that, that. Uh, everything else I think I'll keep for right now. Oh, we can get rid of the dirt and the orange terracotta. Okay. Heck yeah. Right, back up we go. All right, now how did I get back out of here? This way? Yeah, I never would have guessed that this was a, uh, a desert temple. <laughs> it was completely submerged. Holy shit. That's crazy. a wild looking area. Okay. Got more surface lava. It's nice, nice. So the pillager tower is right there, huh? Man, there's going to be good loot at the top of that. However, there's also pillagers around it, I believe. So if I go near it, I am going to get fucked. So I'd rather not go near it yet. <sighs> Fuck. Okay. Well. Let me just take a quick peek down here. Alright. Nice little scary as hell because of all the sand above you area right there. Alright, so it was a mine or at least a cave system opening uh, back towards home. Let's go back that way and we'll mine a bit. Look. Preferably not in the desert. Okay. Let's just sleep real quick here. Okay. Speaking of sleeping, if you've not seen the uh, Sleepy Princess in the Demon Castle anime, it is very great. It is hilarious and precious, and uh, I came from that one, right? Okay, yeah, I think I did. That's a... Nope. I'm not messing with no stupid fucking skelly boys quite yet. If I have to, sure, but not right now. Okay, so I think this was the start of a good cave. Yeah, here we go. Iron already? Baby, yeah. We are an hour in, and we're just finding iron. Hell yeah. That's fine, though. We weren't really actively looking for it before. So, let us just do what we can. We'll eventually do like a strip mine type thing as well, but for now, let's just see if we can get on the surface. Let's see if we can go deeper. Ho, 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 motherfucker. Ow. You want some of this? Come on. Come on. You want some? 
one skeleton messed me up that bad. Good God. This is going to be some scary shit later on. If I ever get caught out without a bed or something, or in a cave surrounded by monsters, I might actually die. Because it's actually been a minute since I played Minecraft on the hardest difficulty. I usually play it on a uh, normal or whatever. Real quick. More food, please? Okay. Nice and topped off. True Pip, it is a nice, relaxing game to just kind of hop into, which is kind of why I wanted to play it now, because work for me has just been an annoying, stressful drag. So I'm like, I'll just chill with some Minecraft, and we'll see how it goes. You know what I'm saying? More than uh, being like playing a rage-inducing game or something where it's like, ugh, annoying at times, but. Yeah, definitely, like, I wish their updates for Minecraft were a little bit quicker to come out. Because they have, like, the cave update, which is coming out. But it's coming out in, like, 2021. I think, like, early 2021 or something. But it's still months away. And it's going to be fun and cool. But at the same time, it's just so far away. The mods do make it great. I will give you that. I really like the uh, the technology mods and stuff that you can get, and download and everything, like a uh, 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 industrial craft and RL not RL craft. Uh, God, I'm trying to think of the mods that I use frequently. Bomb craft is the magic one. Then there's a uh, thermal expansion and uh, the uh, the engineering one, which I forget what it's called as well. Immersive engineering is that right? But there's plenty of good mods out there. It's just a shame they all don't work on the uh, latest version of Minecraft. They're all like old versions before like the the Nether updates and the the ocean updates. Because it really sucks for some of them when you can't swim. You just kind of like bob up and down in the water. There's gravel up there. Okay, there's just uh, coal here. I'm going to try to not mine coal near as much if I don't have to. It's just a waste of a pickaxe at the moment. Oh. Well, I didn't mean to go directly down, but okay. Getting some nice iron. I will say, I think my favorite mod, though, is Thalmcraft. Simply because uh, I like magic. And, like, the whole researching aspect... And, like, having to go out and, like, scan the surrounding area of Thalmcraft is just so cool. Also, the stuff you can do with it where, like, there's a, a Thalmcraft, a couple of Thalmcraft dimensions, I think, that you can go into and, like, explore and stuff like that. It's, uh, it's real nice. But. You've been playing Destiny lately. You see, I tried to play Destiny when it first came out, like, the first one. And I played, like... A bit of it with a friend but it just kind of got boring to me it was like go from point a and kill these things and then go to point b and kill these things and like i don't know it, it didn't seem like it was that fun to me it was just an mmo grind essentially like i like the concept of it in a way but i, I don't like games that i have to like grind my soul away and you know what I'm saying? Like, any MMO late game. Like, early game MMOs I like. But when it comes to, like, 
late game MMOs, I hate them. Because they're just like, they're all the same. It's like, hey, continue doing this one dungeon over and over again for the hope of getting like one extra attack damage for an item. And it's like, oh, awesome. But like, man. If there were more games that had like stuff like Guild Wars 2, where Guild Wars 2 had this world versus world versus world thing, where it would pit like three different servers against each other on this, this huge map that you would like, uh, you could like take over bases, you could make siege engines and stuff like that. That was great. But there's zombies behind this wall or they're below me. They're this way, it looks like. Hello, zomboys. That's a lot of zombies, actually. And a creeper? What the hell? Looks like a party's going on down here. Hmm. I don't know. I'm just gonna try to kill these guys without getting hit. What up, losers? Where's that creeper at? Oh. They are, uh, down there, huh? Okay. Hey, you thought, huh, Creeper? You thought you were gonna get me. Shit, Lord. Oh my god, there's two down there? Bruh. I'm trying to get to, like, explode. Or die, one of the two. Whichever one's first, you know? One more hit? Yeah, there we go. Hell yeah, brother. Uh-oh. Let's make sure I can get out, huh? Okay. I felt like there might have been a spawner or something down here since there were so many zomboys, but... Maybe not. That's a dead end. You know, I'm really looking forward to seeing how the game Hytale does. It's like a, a, a Minecraft-ish game as well. But there seems to be like a lot more things to it that you can do. Like there's, apparently you can make like your own movies and stuff in it and stuff like that. Is what it seems like. And there's also like more pets and like better decorations and stuff in it. It seems like it's going to be really cool. So if Hytale is as good as Minecraft, if not better, it'll be a fun time. I just can't wait for it to come out, though. Man, there's so many games that are just like, I want to play them now, but they're not out. Also, I took my hand off the keyboard and mouse for a second there. That's why I got hit. Like, fuck, ouch. There's a lot of stuff that I want to play. It's just not out. Like Cyberpunk or like... Fuck you, Skilliton! No, no, don't do it! Oh, okay, we're leaving. Ooh, like Cyberpunk I want to play. Oh boy, that one's coming out. Uh, is it next month they pushed it back to? That'll be fun if they don't push it back again. But even if they do push it back, I don't have a problem with that. Because I want them to release it as a good game, not as a, uh, oh, let's just rush the release date kind of game, you know? But uh, either way, I think Cyberpunk will be fun. I'm not going to record or stream other than one episode of it. But uh, I still think it'll be pretty great. 
because I want to enjoy myself. Looking forward to that. But there hasn't been much else out lately that I've been like, man, I really want to play that game. You know? But, uh, my, uh, yeah, there we go. New pickaxe! Actually, I could have made an iron pickaxe, but you know what? That's fine. I'll save my iron for later. God, what other games are there that are coming out? It's, uh... So, the games I'm looking into right now that I have, like, on a list here, uh, other than the ones on my, like, Steam wish list, or Steam, uh, yeah, wish list that I have bookmarked that are all in early access because every game comes out in early access now. So there's Cyberpunk, then there's Halo Infinity, which I, I just like the Halo games in general. And I like to uh, play the story of them. I don't play any of the online because I suck at Halo Online. Because everyone jumps around and it's just like an annoying, uh, annoying prick, more or less. But uh, I definitely like the stories of the Halos so far. So I'm looking forward to that. I just hope it releases on PC. Because I'm not getting an Xbox One X or the hell it's called now. I'm done with consoles. There's no point. Unless they release like a, an insane beast of a console that's like a full dive VR experience. I'm not getting it. But uh, good luck with that. Then there's Hytale, which I'm looking forward to, like I said. Ow. Oh no, two. Nope, we're leaving. We're getting the hells out of here, boyos. Okay. Yeah. Then there's a game called Avowed, which I think was... Uh, it's... it's um. God, who, who makes it? It's Obsidian's uh, new RPG game that they're coming out with after they had made the other one. Okay, that was way too fucking close. I don't like that at all. That was bad. I thought they were fighting each other. Did they not kill each other? Was there another one that came up? Fuck. Yeah, Avowed looks like it's going to be cool. It's like a medieval, uh, like, looking game. And the trailer of it was pretty cool. And I was like, man, Obsidian's making this motherfucker? I'm like, I am in. So that's going to be great. There's uh, the new Fable game, which they announced, which who knows when that's coming out. I don't think they released a, like a year even for that one. Uh, there's also uh, Crossfire X, which, uh, yep, we're leaving. Not going down that way. Screw that. I'm actually not even sure what uh, Crossfire X really is about. I know it's a... Uh, a shooter, it looks like. But other than that, I couldn't remember what was going on. Um, then there is Stalker 2, which I never played Stalker 1. I've heard like people talk about it, and I've seen people play it. I've never played it myself, but Stalker 2 looked like it was uh, a lot better, graphically anyway. So I was like, oh, I'll definitely give it a shot. If nothing else, I'll watch people play it first before I'm like, yeah, I'm going to buy this and play it, you know. But I was like, oh, I'll keep an eye on that. And uh, that's pretty much all that I'm keeping an eye on in terms of AAA or, like, high-profile games right now. Uh, everything else that's coming out is, like, an indie game that I'm looking forward to playing at some point in time. Or just made by, like, a smaller studio. And then, of course, you have the ones that are, like, no set release date. Like, uh, The Elder Scrolls VI, the next Fallout game, there's the, uh, uh, Starbound or Starfield, I think it's Starfield, the game that's the space one that Bethesda was making, which I don't know if they're gonna still keep making since now Microsoft owns Bethesda, but, uh, where'd my boat go? God damn it. Eh? Nunny? Boat. Boat chan, there you yeah, there's boat chan, okay. But yeah, uh, I'm curious to see how Bethesda games will change now that we have uh, Microsoft uh, owning them. I'm going to keep my chest. I'm going to expand a little bit here, I think, this time around. Okay. Let me store all this, all that. I got a bow. Perfect. All right. Let me cook my iron and while the iron's cooking let's uh there's my wood there's my wood 
All right, first things first, let's get a couple of doors. I'll need at least four. Okay. Ah, uh, yes, I forgot torches uh, do that. Well, I can do this then. Boop. Easy peasy. Okay. I don't know. I liked Fallout 76. I still like it. Like, once the uh, Brotherhood of Steel expansion comes, I'm going to play more of it. Yeah. 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 But, I don't know. Mm. Okay. So we need to leave about this much. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to get the rest. So let's see, when did they, has it been one or two years since they announced the re announced that they're working on Elder Scrolls 6? It's been two now, right? Because they announced it at one E3, and then it was another one, and then Corona happened, so no one's seen it. Uh, so there wasn't another E3 this year. So... I think 2022 or 2023 is going to be when the next Elder Scrolls comes out. If I had to take a guess. Based upon the development time of others, other games and whatnot. We'll see how that goes. Maybe uh, with Microsoft's funding they'll be like, let's build a new engine instead of using the old one that we had planned. And everything will be peachy and keen with the world, but I highly doubt that's going to happen. Yeah. Uh, I really enjoy Fallout 76 for, like, what it was. It's like a, a semi-MMO, like, kind of game. And it gives you, like, a reason to keep coming back to it, whereas the other Fallouts... Uh, don't necessarily have a reason for you to come back other than modding and stuff. Because um, Fallout, Fallout 76 allows you to uh, do, like, daily quests to get atoms, to get, like, uh, stuff to put in, like, your uh, store or whatnot. Or there's, like, daily events that you can come to and stuff like that. Yeah, 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 someone mentioned Fallout uh, 4 New Vegas to me, which uh, was interesting. It's definitely not out yet. I don't know when the release date of it is yet, but it was that, uh... Well, goddamn, if that's not a death trap, I don't know what is. Yeah, it's the, uh, the Fallout New Vegas, like, basically remade in Fallout 4, which was interesting. Which they're already doing that with, like, Oblivion and Morrowind in the Skyrim engine, so for the Skyrim stuff, I guess I don't know, but it, it's kind of neat. Okay, so there's my back door. Okay, I'm gonna leave that there then. True, Pip. True. Although I think my uh, honestly. The thing that I really like about open world RPG games is exploring them and just kind of doing random stuff, which is really all I need. And that's why I like Fallout and Skyrim and stuff, is that I can just like roam around the area, explore, and everything's like cool. Like finding all of the, uh, the secret little stuff that they put in. At Fallout 76, where I, had to, I took pictures of a bunch of them, where there's, like, teddy bears doing scenes of things and all that kind of fun stuff, you know? I, uh, I like those little, like, Easter egg things. Outer Worlds was good, too, yeah. I enjoyed that one. Um, 
Ah, oh, man. There's so many things that are just great. I do hope, like, eventually, sometime in the future, hopefully the near future, someone actually makes a, uh, an actual VR game and headset and stuff. Not this, like, pseudo-VR that we have now, where it's like, oh yeah, it's it's just, you have a screen right in front of your face, that, that's all there's to it. It's, uh, it's not actual VR, it's just, you know, that. We're just gonna put a screen right in front of your face. I, I really want, like, actual VR, where it's like, oh yeah, here's a... Uh, mm. Like, this connects to your nervous system, so you can, like, manipulate, uh, like, your body inside the game. And meanwhile, your, uh, your real body is not affected by anything, and it's not doing stuff, and yada yada. Like, that's the kind of shit that I want right now. But, until we can, like, get the technology to do that, it's not going to be great. VR games are weird, Pip. The current VR games, anyway. But, like... There's some that look cool. Uh, there's this one that I was watching this VTuber uh, play that are... Uh, it's called, like, Township Tale. Which... I think it's free, too. You, you apparently... Uh, it's, it's like an RPG, almost. There's, like, monsters you can kill. Uh, basically, it's you just making, like, a town. And you collect loot, and you can build stuff, and that kind of thing. It, it, it seems really neat. And, like, I have VR. And if, like, I really wanted to get back into VR and set it all up, I'd probably play that game. Because it looks really neat. But for the most part, VR is really, like, gimmicky. And uh, there's not a whole lot of useful stuff. Or, like, decent games, I should say. Not useful stuff. Like, it's like, oh, you can uh, stand in one place and, like, kill these zombies and stuff with, like, different guns or that kind of stuff. Or, like, even, like, I, I played Skyrim, not Skyrim, Fallout 4 VR, and it was, honestly, like, it, it, it was like I was playing Fallout 4, but just, like, the camera was, like, on my head and I had to use my arms to actually do stuff and it was really janky because it was such a pain in the butt to like do literally anything so I was like oh, okay this is a nice gimmick like maybe it's a uh, cooler for like in terms of like guns anyway it's just like oh I, I'm just I just pull my controller and pull a trigger but if it was like maybe Skyrim where you, you know, use a sword, like actually a sword, it might be cooler. I don't know. I'm just picky when it comes to VR games, because I hate that VR is basically a lie that it's VR right now. It's real dumb, Ski Doodles. Okay. Also, if anyone's curious what I'm making right now, it's a, uh, a storage area for, like, all my stuff. So, since we don't have any mods, I can't exactly do uh, much here uh, for, like, centralized storage and stuff. But I can make, like, a little corridor, like a chest vault area. Yeah, I think Skyrim VR is kind of broken as well. Um, because I think you can just literally, like, mash your arm real quick to, like, instantly kill things. Whereas there's no, like, power swings or, like, cooldown between, like, hits you can do. So you can just, like, stick your sword into an enemy and just, like, spin your hand a little bit. And it just kind of, like, grinds the enemy up, essentially. Okay. Let's grab that stuff. Yeah, it, it's hilarious. Which is what's neat, apparently, about Township Tale. At least from the way that the VTuber who I was watching describes it. Um, in Township Tale, what happens is 
like to mine rocks it's not just like you stick your rock or you stick your pick into the rock it's you actually have to like act like you're mining because velocity plays a part in the damage you deal to like the the stone and stuff which i thought was pretty cool if that's actually how it works i um, mean like if you one hand or two hand a weapon it does less or more damage which also is kind of neat i'm gonna move this it's, it's in the way which is also kind of neat i think um it's definitely something i'd want to check out at some point you know man they'd make a fucking sign <laughs> to say what's what here. Also, the cartographer table. Uh, let's put that. Bop. There we go. Okay. Let's store more of this stuff here. This stuff would be our random materials chest. Bamboo. Let's get a food chest going over here. Golden apple. This one will be my miscellaneous chest for like bows and armor and stuff. Golden horse armor, the leather boots. This one will be my, uh, hold on, my crafted equipment or stuff box. Okay. We're just cleaning house a little bit here before we uh, move on. Okay. This was my materials. So boop, boop, boop. Uh, boop, boop. Yeah. Food. Boop, 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 boop. Not the trees. Any more food in my inventory right now? This suspicious stew, which I'll put there. I don't know how I feel about it yet. All right. Random gear, there's some arrows, there's my compass, there's the saddles, boop, 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 put a TNT in there too. Oh, random blocks, I'll put, actually I need those. Store that there. Rafted materials, I'll put that there, okay. And then I can dig this out, put down a crafting bench here, hell yeah, okay. Real quick, I'm gonna make a sign. A couple of signs, actually. Let's make two. There we go, two batches anyway. Okay. Let's see. Do I wanna put the signs on the chests or on the wall in between them? Hmm. All right, Pip, have fun at Destiny. Enjoy your time. All right, so this one was blocks this one is materials that one is gear uh, this one's crafted items this one is food oh yeah all right and we got one sign to spare which means I can do this over here Storage halls. Okay, perfect. And now... Uh, what is the fence? Is it that? That's a gate. Okay. Okay. Pick up this, motherfucker. Boop, 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 boop. Boop, there we go. that, take that, take that, okay, I'm not going to move that, and I can put that here, perfect, okay, pick up the furnace, move it over here, get a crafting table and put it here, take a couple of chests and put them here and here, okay, excellent, things have been, actually, you know what, I'm going to put these chests over here. If I can pick that one up. There we go. There we go. Okay. Nice little area. Excellent. Okay. And now, let me 
store the rest of the stuff real quick. Food. Bones for the bone meal. We got materials, so diamonds, spider eyes. I'll put the trees here for now. We got the coal, the iron. Gear is going to be the books. Uh, crafted items. I'm not sure what category the uh, treasure maps would fall under here. Uh, materials. Materials, I guess? Because technically I can use them to find stuff? Question mark? Yeah. Okay. So I got my bed. I got that. I need a crafting bench still. So let's grab some blocks here. One, two, three, four. All right. And make that real quick. Okay. Also, I'm going to need some... Uh, one, two... One. Yes. Okay. And then one, two. One, two, three. Boop, 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 boop. Okay. So I'll make some of those. Make an axe to replace that one when it breaks. And make a sword to replace that one when it breaks. Okay, perfect. We now have... Da -da -da -da, decent gear. Okay. Okay, well, it's night out now. I wish I had fucking the... Uh, the F7 toggle, which you can use to... Actually, isn't there one that is... Uh, like a light level thing you can use in vanilla Minecraft? It's like a alt and like another button or something, I think. I don't remember what it is. Look, like there's a spooter up there, huh? Okay. Okay, okay, okay. See, I'm gonna... Okay. Make a little bit roomier here. Okay. I think let's let's spend the rest of the stream here, the last fifteen minutes. I'm just gonna build some stuff. So let's take the cicada. Or Acadia, whatever whatever we want to call them here. I'm just gonna make a couple of uh stairs here. And then let's grab out my food. I don't need the kelp, actually. I can use that for later. Do I have anything else? Not at the moment. Okay. We have trees, though. Let me grab some trees, and I can start a tree farm over here. All right. Fuck, I forgot to take an account of stairs being here. Okay. Well, I'll make these stairs real quick. Okay. Four stairs now. Because <laughs> I'm an idiot. and forgot that I needed to build stairs. Okay. Meow. I also need to chop this one down a little. Okay. Because I almost hit my head on it. Perfect. Okay. And then this goes here. Perfect. Okay. Not the greatest for a seller, but it'll have to do. All right, so now... Oh, fucking... I don't know why that scared me. I was like, shit, he's coming to kill me. But he's not. Nah. You wouldn't kill me, right, Mr. Random Man? I'm not even looking at you. Not even looking at you. Don't even worry about it. Don't even worry about it, my man. Okay. So I'm going to take that... Do that, okay. Like I said before, this area here, I think, we're gonna have be my uh, my farm area. I'm gonna get rid of all the little ledges around here. Okay, perfect. And that's why. Motherfucker. 
Look what you did. Piece of shit. Got him, creeper. What a dick. Speaking of dicks. Motherfuck! <laughs> well, I died. Well, I guess that's one way to end the stream, huh? Goddamn. Well, shit. That's unfortunate. Was it alt to fly faster? Ugh. Creepers, man. Creepers. Like, I was like, oh, I'll just kill this one creeper over here. And then all of a sudden, from right behind, another creeper. They teamed up on me. The poor base, it barely, like, even got started. And, ugh. Well, true to my word, I'm gonna get five subs. So just one moment. So that is over five. Okay. Complete the purchase. All right. So, congratulations to Pip, Blackjack, Blue Paw, GSR, and Black Void Dragon for getting the subs that I gifted because I fucking died like a bitch. Ah, oh, man. You know, I was expecting to uh, to not die quite so easily there, but uh, that's what happens when you're a piece of shit and don't look behind you before you kill a creeper. Ah, oh, man. But yeah, so my plan was uh, this little inner kind of courtyardish area we were going to use as a, uh, a farm. And then over here, I'd plant some trees, maybe make some animal pens. We would uh, kind of cordon this area off and actually be able to do more stuff there. And then we were gonna expand over here i was going to put like a an upward area into this like back pen area and then also like uh add some stairs from there going up higher into this like tower and we're going to build like a living space up here and have a real real nice you know have this be kind of like the basement entryway anyway. no pip i gifted subs because i died that's why that's what happened pip i said uh in, in the stream title here if I die, I give five subs. So, I gifted five subs. Because I ain't no bitch. <laughs> ah, can't believe I died, though. Man, I was expecting to go for, like, at least a couple of times. But, shit. Well, so much for keeping track of my locations and whatnot, huh? Okay. Well. Well, well, well. Anyway, I suppose we can quit out of here and uh, delete the world. Boop. Okay. Anyway, can I even, like, open up this world? The world was last played on version 1.1. I'm a version yada yada yada. Oh. It's on a different version. That's 1.12, huh? Can I open that up? Okay. Open. Change the release to 1.12 modded. I don't even remember what this world was. I mean, I did pretty decent, sure, but, like, God, creepers of all things killed me? Man. All right, it's going to take a bit to actually load. Such a shame. Such a shame. Man. Also, it's not like I don't have the money to not gift subs out. I have plenty of money. I just mostly wasted on, like, anime figures and commissions of artwork and stuff. Speaking of, oh my god, the starting soon screen has to be almost coming out. Right? No. Wait. 
No, the starting soon screen, blah, I don't know why I said almost coming out. It almost has to be done. Like, the artist, like, oh, we were talking the other day about uh, approving it and whatnot. And it's looking great. They just got to, like, do some final, like, shading touches on it and add, like, the last touch of, you know, stuff and things. And uh, it's going to be great. Oh, right, I remember this world now. This world was cursed. Very, very cursed. What's this ender sack? Oh, right. It does that stuff. Well, let's, uh, let's real quick edit the, uh... Okay. To edit the title so it's not like I'm gonna... I'm lying about playing hardcore. Okay. Right, here's all my stuff. Right, right, right. So this is a modded uh, survival game. I actually don't remember what all mods I had in it. Clearly some different ones. Um, it's got a map, right? What was it? J-N-V... Uh, I don't remember how to use the map. Anyway. So I just found a, a base to kind of build in this, like, hollowed out world thing, and... Uh, I was just kind of making my way here. Man, I'm going to find a new seed to start off uh, another hardcore survival in. We might uh, go thing, go about things a different way next survival. Ow, rude. The board doesn't like me. Come on, Mr. Boar, don't kill me. Don't be a dick. Don't do it. Don't do it. My asshole. Well, okay. Luckily. Oh my god, I don't remember how to open the grave. Shit. Uh. 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 Right click. Okay. I was drawing a blank on how to open the grave. Oh my god. Or I'll close the door, I mean. Ah, that's right. You run away, Mr. Boar. Right click? Yeah, right click. Okay. Come for your ass now, motherfucker. Oh. Uh. Oh. Uh. Oh god, he's too fast. He's too wily. Okay. Easy. Right, and I planted some spooce trees here. Cool, cool. And there's... Alright. Uh, applied Energistics is part of this mod. It's got a, a meteorite here. Cool. Well, anyway, that's what that world was. It's just like a custom mod pack I threw together that has like different mods in it. I don't even know which ones. Mod options. Got a... Let's see... Block of charcoal, AI improvements, antique atlas, antique atlas overlay, just enough items, apple skin, applied energistics, uh, aquaculture, basic nether ores, better advancements, better animal, plus yada yada yada. Okay. Anyway, I think we'll uh, we'll end things here for today, everyone. Not a not a great way to go out on, blowing up by a creeper. But you know what? Next time. Next, actually, before we before we before we end things, why don't we create the new world? So make a hardcore world. What should we use for the seed? Uh, let's see. We used plague for the last one. I tried pestilence and it didn't work out. What about uh, pestilent rather than pestilence? Right? Yeah. Huh? World type. Uh, great wall. Explore what? What are all these? Explorer testing or default. We'll go default. And then done. New world. Hardcore. Great world. All right. So let's see what our spawn point will be like tomorrow. And then tomorrow we can uh, hopefully go without dying. Yes, sir, Bob. Okay. Ooh, we're in a bamboo forest area, huh? A lot of bamboo. Ooh, is that a little structure over there, huh? Ooh. Ooh, ooh. All right. Well, that's what we're looking... Oh, wait. I'm on the modded version still. Shit. Okay. <laughs> well, that's what it should look like, at least similarly, uh, once I unmod it and delete that from existence because it's the wrong one. But anyway, <clears throat> we're into things here, everyone. 
thank you all for stopping on by and whatnot. Congratulations to those of you who got the sub. Use the emotes, or well, the emote wisely, I suppose, because I only have one unlocked right now for uh, tier one. But anyway, we'll be returning tomorrow for another uh, stream of Hardcore Minecraft, where hopefully we don't die. So this VOD will be uploaded to uh, YouTube, on youtube.com slash shiki, of course. And you can uh, follow me over on Twitter to know when I'm going live. It's just uh, twitter.com slash gaming, all one word there. And, uh, yeah. So until next time, I'll catch y'all later. Bye for now.